Emmeline, uh, thank you very much uh, to be part of our uh, group. Uh, we would like to know more about you, your work, and what is your story? Hi everyone, my name is Emmeline Rose. I'm an haute couture designer and I am also the founder of Danza Luna, the uh, artistic event here in Ghent in Belgium. Um, so what is my story? I uh, like to inspire people with my art, with my creations. And I like to uh, inspire people to uh, realize that they are good enough in life. And that is actually where I am here right now. And uh, being able to bring out my message to all of you is, uh, for me, fantastic. This is what I was been looking for. And thank you very much, Ed, for giving me this opportunity. I am forever grateful. So, yeah, here I am. <laughs> see your uh, piece of video from your event so can you give us idea how did you come up with that idea and what was uh, your uh, message and uh, impact you wanted to have uh, with this event well um, first of all um, I began to make um, old sculpture yeah, pieces I think uh, when I was just uh, four years old uh, I began to uh, my mother threw me literally threw me into sewing because uh, she actually comes from a very humble background and she always uh, tried to make her clothing herself. So uh, she was a very handy woman, my mom. I, I adore her so much. I, I am so happy and grateful to have her in my life. So uh, I was a very little kid and she was actually showing me like, you have to do this for embroidery. For, and, and so I began to make embroidery uh, when I was at the age of uh, six. And then I began to make bead embroidery, which is actually a little bit, uh, yeah, difficult than the normal embroidery, uh, when I was uh, in the age of 10. So um, then I began to work with my hands. I love to work with my hands. I'm very grateful that I have these two wonders here that I can actually create a lot of uh, magnificent things with and also to express the, 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 the desire to create most beautiful garments that can make everyone feel like a true nobility queen king this is what i want to uh give to the to the world actually yes and you are also um, founder founder of uh renewed uh, gala uh, danza luna uh held yeah. in, uh, in royal opera uh, of grant in belgium so can you also uh, let us know more about that event well, Danza Luna is actually, um, we got this uh, third edition of the uh, Danza Luna in uh, this magnificent halls of the opera. And uh, it was a dream coming true for me because I wanted everyone to give something special. Uh, you know, you can just say, okay, I'm just organizing a simple ball. You, know, you can eat, drink, have fun, get uh, to know friends. But I also wanted to give such a special thing in emotions that people would just remember and say, wow, that was like the best moment of my life. I felt like a true nobility. And, um, you know, for me, everything began with Danza was um, when I wanted to show people that they are good enough because there are so many people who have so many self-doubt and self-drama going on in their, in their minds, and especially ladies, of course. They're saying, no, I am too much of this, too much of that. I say, no, stop with that. You are good enough. And when you believe you are good enough, you bless the situation that you are here right now. And you just know that you deserve, deserve better. And you, the, the, what you deserve is on its way coming to you. This is a secret formula for life and to, to accomplish everything in life. 
And Dance Luna is a little bit of a glimpse of giving like, hey, you are good enough, you're here. And uh, they are like dressed in these beautiful uh, garments that most of them make themselves. And they, uh, I just, you know, treat them like kings and queens. I serve them. I am, people are saying like, you're the organizer. I say, no, I am a servant. I serve, I love serving them. I say, I love to serve you. And, um, you know, this is actually, that was, that was my dream and it, it came true. For the people who are interested in fashion, how they can enter in that world? What kind of uh, steps do you recommend for people who are passionate about fashion, especially women who are in our group and might be um, willing to learn more uh, about your world? Well, first of all, and that is the most important thing, just believe in yourself. I know people out there who are magnificent artists. They, they, they make most amazing things ever. But the only thing that they cannot take, the, that prevents them to take the step is that they don't believe in themselves. Self-doubt is, is really the biggest failure. And if you just believe in yourself, it's like I said, uh, know that you have the skills and say, I am good enough, I can do this. Then you, you, will, you will get into the world and, and everywhere, everything will open up to you because when you believe in yourself, you change your attitude. And when you change your attitude, you are exposing a different person. And that is going to get you the connections. Uh, even if you, uh, for example, I began with no, nothing. I would just say I was just making uh, small pieces of embroidery uh, and I, I just left them in my, in my room. Till the day that I was being confronted with something very unpleasant, and uh, I said to myself, "No, I am going to show that I am good enough." And there are so many people; they are saying, "Oh, but I am too short for a for a model." Uh, I I am short too. I am just one uh, meters uh, fifty eight, and I went qualified for top model Belgium. So. I was like, no, that is not because you're too short or, uh, you know, it doesn't have to do anything about your body type. It is how you believe in yourself and how you express yourself. And that is very important. When you are self-doubting, you are like, don't touch me or I am not good. And that is, that is not good. You have to say, okay, I am good enough. I am doing all this and you show your work. Don't be afraid to be rejected. If one gets one rejection, I mean, there are so many others who will actually say, hmm, actually, this is interesting. Why not? Just make me something and send me something and we will see about it. This is how I began with it. I, I mean, I, I made my, my, my pieces and I sent them. And uh, there was just one person who said to me, okay, I am going to make a picture with it. And uh, they, they published it. And then the other person said, oh, this is very really interesting. I would just like to make a picture as well. And this is also what the reason is why I am actually organizing Danza, because mm -hmm. a dancer who are coming there who are interested in the same. And when people are coming to visit Danza, they are people who just come to have a good, not a good, uh, a good time. But there are also people who want to have networks. And this is where I offer them. So, Emeline, you work with the many uh, world-class individuals. You, you have awards from the prime televisions. And uh, yeah. uh, how you combine uh, creativity and business goals? Is that tough in a fashion industry to work with the artists who are very creative? Or that's just uh, how you organize yourself and your time? Well, I am I am someone who doesn't like to take commissions. <laughs> I am a uh, artist uh, designer, so it means that uh, there are some some designers, and I don't have anything against that. You know, uh, they take commissions and they say, "Okay, I'm going to do it like this and then." But I, when someone comes to me and says, uh, "I have a wedding, I would like to have a wedding dress," I say, "Which team it is? Um, which color do you want?" I, I actually scan the person mostly, and I try to to understand the soul behind the body, and then I create them. I, I say, look, this is what I have created, and actually, almost, almost, they are very, very happy about my creations 
they say, wow, uh, and, and this is what I love the part when the ladies put on their dress and they say, I feel like a queen. Mm. Bingo. And this is what I am expecting from. And uh, yes, it is very difficult actually when uh, you are working and you have the commercial side and then you also have the, the, the creative side. What I would just like to say is that stay honest true and intentionally to your creations um making money is the wrong part this is true but you know if you are just too fixed to to make money and money you can just divide to other sites and that is not the thing that you want a true artist always follows its heart and money will come anyway Emily, what kind of impact you want to have and for all women or men who are watching this video, how they can uh, reach out to you if they're interested in your creation? Well, uh, I have my uh, website, of course, that's uh, emelinrose.com. And uh, um, yeah, they can always send me a message there. They can, uh, I always ask like, okay, if you want me to make you something, just uh, tell me about you because I want to get to know the person first. And then, uh, we will just uh, think about it. We we brainstorm together. I will never say like, okay, um, and here, this is it. Just wear it. This is not my thing. For me, what is important is that the garments fit the person and not the person that fits the garments. Do you understand? And that is actually a, a change that I would just like to bring also. That's also why I have a public catwalk at my event where I have inviting everyone who makes dresses or who just wants to show off their dress, like, ah, look, this is so beautiful. They can just take part to it. And uh, I would like to break through that also in high fashion, that everyone, uh, it doesn't matter which body type it is, but it becomes a magnificent spectacle that that people are showcasing their, their garments fit for everybody, not just for very skinny models, you know, but for everybody. And um, this is actually what I am working on for the first time. You know, uh, I would just like to introduce that in the fashion world. So people can contact me um, through my website, emelinrose.com. I am also available on Facebook, on social media. Uh, I'm sorry if I don't answer right away, but I am like still here. <laughs> and, uh, but um, I'm always there. I, I just love to hear the stories of the people. I would just love to know who they are before I create something. I, I want to get to know them, of course. And um, um, what I also do is they can come and visit me at my event. That's Danza Luna. And you can find more information at danzaluna.org. And uh, we hold it uh, once a year. And it is in Belgium. It's very central. It's in the city of Ghent. It's in the beautiful royal opera hall and uh, they can come and see me there i'm always at their service uh, i would just adore to meet them and uh, if they want to have something special designed for them uh, with pleasure i have actually brought some here uh, just to show it on the on the camera so i think you can see this is one yep. of the recent designs i made Amazing. And I, I, uh, I, I made this in one day. So. Thank you, Emeline. And uh, uh, in, uh, when exactly is the Dan Saluna this year? Well, normally we always have it like uh, in October or November. But of course, right now we don't really have a date because mm. it just finished just recently. So we are actually looking for uh, to, to make the, for, you know, the next team. So the team next year will be Noblesse Eternelle means uh, the, the eternal nobility and it is uh, in the team of discovering once uh, inside the, the creative uh, soul forever present this is what we are going to do next year and everyone is going to dress up as a king a queen a noble it's your choice you know um as long as you have a good time and uh, get to know each other who are uh, in your frequency Okay, ladies, so for all of you who, who want to have an extraordinary experience and feel like a queen, uh, book your, in your calendar once when uh, Emeline will share with us uh, when is the next uh, Danza Luna in, uh, in Belgium. Uh, that will be an extraordinary experience in October or November this year. You are always welcome. Always. Everyone is always welcome. I'm just uh, one click away. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Thank you, Emily. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ed. I'm just wishing you the best of the world. Just keep on doing and keep on inspiring people. This is what I just uh, want from you the most.